Hi guys, my name's Jules and welcome to the Techmaster Assist YouTube channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about speeding up and cleaning up your PC. From time to time you'll find that your PC will slow down, especially after a few months of heavy browsing and other activity. Your computer gets clogged up with unnecessary temporary files and other other such files. Now what I tend to use is a product called CCleaner. CCleaner is completely free and it's from a company called Piriform and I'm going to show you how you can download that file completely free and we go to Google to start with and we type in CCleaner. Now I prefer to download the product from a company a website called File Hippo. File Hippo, very reliable, quick downloads. There it is. Download CCleaner. Now I recommend you download the latest version, and that is available at the very top. Um, Apologise for the speed of this because I'm running all this on a virtual machine. But if you just bear with me, there we go. it's going to start downloading any moment and I'll get the option to download the file. Now I've already downloaded the file but I'll just go through the motions here just so that you can see what it looks like. There we go. Any moment now. My broadband's not very fast here, so I do apologise. It's not a very large file, and we're just waiting, waiting. Shouldn't be this long. Here we go. And as you can see, it's only 3.98 megabytes, and it's a file called CC Setup 326. You can either run it straight away or save it save is what I normally do and then run it separately so I'll just cancel that because I've already been through this we'll close the browser and we'll go to my downloads folder downloads there's the file CC setup 326 so we double click on that there it is CCleaner installer yes installs quite quickly. English, we OK that. Next, obviously you need to agree to the license. OK that. Now, I'll just draw your attention to this. This is quite important, especially if you're installing it on somebody else's machine and you don't want it accidentally run by another person. I would untick every option except for the add open C cleaner option to the recycle bin. Now that makes sure that you don't end up accidentally running it yourself or somebody else accidentally running it. There's the option also here to check for updates every time it runs. I tend not to bother but it's up to you. I'm going to untick that. So we just leave it accessible in the recycle bin. We go on and install that as you can see quite quickly. Now you can run it straight away from install if you prefer. I'm not going to because I want you to see what this all looks like when you run it normally. So we finish that. We'll close this window. Right. Here we go straight to the recycle bin and we right click on recycle bin and there it is open C cleaner. Click on open C cleaner. Now it's going to ask you do you wish to keep certain important cookies. Now people have their favourite websites and they regularly log in to particular pages. Now I'm going to say no here because just in case you end up deleting cookies you don't want got rid of. Now this is the most important section here under Internet Explorer 
you may prefer to use another browser, in which case you'll find an other other browser options here in the Applications tab. And there's Firefox. You'll also get similar entry for Google Chrome, Opera, whichever you prefer, whichever browser you prefer. Now, let's just look at Firefox here. You're going to want to probably keep your internet history, your cookies, and your download history. You may not wish to, in which case leave these top boxes ticked, but I untick them because I usually have particular websites I don't want to lose the cookies to. But if it's a machine which is completely choked up with stuff and the person, you or the other, uh, your friend doesn't want it removed, you can untick them, otherwise leave them ticked if you want to clear everything out. We'll just go back to Internet Explorer. History, cookies, recently typed URLs. They don't take up much space, they really don't. So there's no real harm in not having them deleted. But temporary internet files will take up a lot of room on your hard drive. So I will always leave that ticked. So we've done that. You may wish to also look at the recycle bin. If there's things in the recycle bin you don't want to get rid of, untick it. Right, OK. Now, you can analyse what will be got rid of. And you'll see a list here. It's going to remove this information from your hard drive. And if you're OK with that, just go ahead and run CCleaner. It'll ask you to confirm. Click OK. And it will just go through and remove those items. And it's done. You can see here 51.3 megabyte of data was removed. Now that's data that you don't need. I have been on machines where it's s removed several gigabytes of data and that makes quite a huge difference. So if you've been running on a machine on a PC or laptop or notebook that has become very very slow you'll probably find that there's a lot of data that you're going to be getting rid of and that's going to speed up your machine significantly. So we've done that. The other option here is the registry. You can clean up your registry. It's never been a major issue for me, but it's quite nice to actually scan for any issues that, you, that are detectable in your registry. And they will get listed in this section here. Now this is a virtual machine, there isn't much on it, and it hasn't found any issues. But your machine will probably have issues, a few, they're not, usually not critical. And they'll be listed down here. You'll simply select the option to fix those issues. It will ask you, do you wish to back up your registry? Always a good idea to accept that and back it up. It does it in just a few seconds. And then you can go ahead and fix those issues. Another option here is the Tools section. Now that's literally just a list of files that are in uh, applications that are installed on your PC or laptop. You may use this to remove files. You may prefer to use Windows own uninstall facility. It's up to you. There's an Options section here. Now this is pretty much more designed for the experts who may wish to do particular uh, things with regards to removing files. Now there's an option here for a secure file deletion. That is a lot slower, as it says slower, but what it does, it will give you the option to select multiple writes over the, f over the area of your hard drive where the files are deleted from. Quite why this would be necessary to the ordinary person who wishes to run this is a little beyond me. Um, it is a secure option. I'll just tick there so you can see. Basically where a file lives on your hard drive this option will allow you to overwrite that part of the hard drive three times, seven times or even 35 times. A little over the top in my opinion but the option is there if you prefer to. Now, 
I've never found it necessary to do that. So we'll just go for the simple delete option there. And there's also the option to select other hard drives on your machine. It's really not necessary, to be quite honest, unless there are drives you've added. Um, I would leave this section well alone. You may wish to try a few things out, it's up to you, but I would leave things well alone. The main part of this application is the cleaner section. This will remove unnecessary files from your machine. Once you've done that, your machine performance will improve. It will clean out unnecessary stuff and you'll be a lot happier with your PC. So there you have it, that's CCleaner. If you've got any comments, please leave them below and uh, I hope to see you in the next video.